Diamond Deli started 40 some years ago. Uh, the landlord who owns the building now uh, took this place and converted it into a small deli. And uh, he was the original startup as far as the deli, from what I've been told. And then since then, there's been uh, two other owners besides ourselves. So it's been, been here a little over 40 some years. It's always been Diamond Deli, but it's always had somebody's name in front of it. And when uh, my sister and I bought it together, we decided we'd just drop the name and keep Diamond Deli since everybody knew the, the deli down here. Well, when uh, my sister and I finally bought the place, uh, we were sitting down and we knew what we sort of wanted to do with the deli as time went on. So we decided we wanted to do specialty sandwiches. And our family is very close. Um, Close-knit family, I think you can see that when you come in here, most of the people here are family. Um, but we decided it would be fun to name sandwiches just after our kids, our, our wives, our husbands, our mom and dad, just family. And actually, as, as we would do a special sandwich, okay, it's so-and-so's turn. You know, um, most of the sandwiches have a story behind them. I mean, like for Brett's, for instance, uh, Brett's, it isn't fair. When Brett was growing up, if you tell Brett to do something, it was never fair. He still didn't, isn't it fair. still isn't fair. No. <laughs> and and uh, Zach's, yeah, right, Dad. Zach is my oldest. Uh, I used to tell him st stupid stories all the time that you know weren't true. Finally, he started catching on, and he'd just look at me and go, "Yeah, right, Dad." Yeah. Dad was uh, a pilot for a B-17 in uh, World War II. Uh, he was shot down over Germany on his eighth mission, and that's how we came up with the name for his sandwich, Manny's B-17. So we thought about converting him to like new terms that we've had. But it wouldn't be appropriate at all, so <laughs> we figured we'd stick with what we got. It's it's just an upbeat, fun atmosphere where not only do we know, you know, most of the customers that come in, but even the customers that come in all know each other just from coming in at the same time or coming in three or four times a week. Um, it's just a real friendly atmosphere, you know. And not only are they our customers. Most of these people become friends of ours, so when they come in, not only are we just taking orders and giving them food, we're catching up on life or whatever's been going on, you know, recently. So it's, it's just a fun atmosphere to be around people that have become close friends to us now. Uh, the unique thing is, is we don't hurt each other, we help each other down here. Help draw for one another. We get along very well with all the owners of the shops. Um, I, I don't know, you know, a couple of them real well. The one across the street, we do know real well. Great guy, always willing to help. That's the, the unique thing down here. We don't hate each other. We're all here for the same reason. Yeah, if you, I mean, it seems like people really want success to help each other out, like he said. And uh, <clears throat> you know, that's what makes us really appreciate this place is. Like I said, how these customers have turned into friends. I mean, even with all these places open, we have our regulars who are always going to be true to us, who no matter what opens, no matter what comes about, they stick around and they still stop in, you know, two, three times a week. Akron U students are a big part of our business now, and the university is too, <coughs> along with downtown Akron. Um, but it, it's neat. We get a lot of these students who I think, again, they like that we remember their names. We get a lot of the, the athletes from the university, a lot of the staff, you know, the, it just, you know, they like us to know what they did at basketball or they like us to know what they did at soccer and, and so forth. And, and I think they like to be recognized, right. uh, you know, and, and treated fairly and treated just the same as the other students. We don't bend over backwards any more for them than, than the regular students, but we, ha we have a huge following from the university and we thank them very much for that. Yeah, and we don't, we don't go out of our way to do this just because we want the business. Like, it's actually fun. I love, we love going to sporting events, meeting people. You know, and even after work, we'll tend to go out with some of these people that we've met through here. And, 
have a good time. I mean, it's just it's it's work, but it's also it's just a great way of you know getting to know people and just have fun downtown. Our friendship circle is uh, has widened so much. I have made so many new friends down here. Um, it, it, it's just a great thing. I love downtown Akron. Uh, it, it's a unique downtown. It's different from the city of Cleveland. I even hate when, when people try to compare Akron to Cleveland. There's no comparison. I don't want to be compared to Cleveland. Uh, I like the uniqueness of Akron. Uh, the city cares, they try real hard to help us out when we have a problem and they try to resolve it. You know, we, we always try to come to a, a happy medium regardless if they think we're right or wrong. The city has always been very supportive of, of, of Diamond Deli. So, but it, I, I'll tell you what, there's a lot of headaches owning your own business, but I, I wouldn't trade this for anything in the world. I yeah. really wouldn't. And I started here when I was 18, I'm 27 now. Uh, you know, it was a lot when I first started because it's a big city. I've never really worked anywhere downtown where there's a lot of crowds, you know, some homeless people, whatever else is going on. Um, but, you know, eight years later, nine years later, I would never leave this place to open another place. I want to stay here till it's done.